Hi, everybody. Coming up today on CBS Sports Saturday, a live championship fight. Bill Costello, the champion, will be challenged by Irish Leroy Haley, the former champion and now top contender. Our Vern Lundquist will call the fight, and he is standing by right now, live at ringside in Costello's hometown of Kingston, New York. Let's go up to Vern. Thank you, Pat. It's an interesting hometown as well. This uh, antiquated old city of great historic importance. And just uh, a few moments from now, or a little bit later in the program, in that arena, Billy Costello, the hometown hero, will be making his third title defense. He takes on Irish Leroy Haley this afternoon, a man who used to have the title. So it really ought to be a raucous crowd in support of Billy Costello. There's another fighter out in Reno, and John Madden is there with Ray Mancini. I'm John Madden at the Lawler Events Center in Reno, Nevada. The site of tonight's WBA lightweight championship fight between Ray Boom Boom Mancini and the champion Livingstone Bramble. I'm going to have a report on Boom Boom Mancini. We're going to talk about his career, about why this fight with Bramble is so important to him, and whether he's going to retire after this fight. That's all coming up later on CBS Sports Saturday. Now back to Pat O'Brien in New York. But first, we're getting ready for our big title fight here on CBS Sports Saturday. And for the latest, let's check in live once again with Vern Lundquist at ringside. Vern. Okay, Patrick, we are at ringside in the Midtown Neighborhood Center in Kingston, New York, and this crowd has filled this place. They have been waiting patiently now for this 12-round WBC Super Lightweight Championship between the man who holds the title, Bill Costello, and the man who once held the title, Irish Leroy Haley. Bill Costello, of course, is making the third title defense in his hometown of Kingston, New York. He won the championship with a 10th round knockout over then champion Bruce Curry in Beaumont, Texas. He has since fought here against Ronnie Shields and Sal Mambi, winning decisions both times. And in just a few moments, he's going to meet Leroy Haley, who was scheduled to meet uh, the champion back on November 3rd. But Haley, the young man who is now in his mid-30s, had to pull out with a hand injury. He says he's ready, though he has never fought before a crowd quite as noisy as this. That's coming up a little later this afternoon. Pat? All right, and we've got a championship battle of our own set to get underway in Kingston, New York. Unbeaten Bill Costello puts his WBC World Super Lightweight crown on the line against top contender Irish Leroy Haley. The crowd is set, and we'll join Vern Lundquist and Gil Clancy at ringside in Kingston, New York, after this message and a word from your local station. We are live from Kingston, New York, the Midtown Neighborhood Center. Vern Lundquist along with Gil Clancy, and we have the WBC Super Lightweight Championship scheduled for 12 rounds. Billy Costello fighting in his hometown against the former champion Leroy Haley from Garland, Arkansas, who has lived in Las Vegas for quite some time. Gil, really an interesting contrast in the champion and the, and the uh, challenger. How do you expect this fight to go? Well, I think it's going to be a real tough fight. Haley has a style to bother Costello. His last fight was against Sal Mambi, a master boxer. In this case, he's going to be against a guy that's going to attack. At least that's what Haley says he's going to do. He gets low, he's hard to hit, and he punches from all angles. The only thing is, Haley's going to be walking into a puncher, and that's Costello the puncher. Billy Costello told us yesterday with some passion that he wants to take Leroy Haley out in this fight. Do you think he can? Well, yes, anytime, if Haley fights the way he says he's going to fight, he says he's going to let it all hang out. And when you throw a lot of punches, you are vulnerable to a counter punch. Now, of course, Leroy Haley in his mid-30s has only been knocked out one time in his career, though. Well, that's right, but he hasn't fought a puncher the, the way Cost Costello can really punch. He can take anybody out. So you don't expect it to go the distance? I doubt it. Well, Billy Costello, among the other advantages, is fighting in his hometown here in the Midtown Neighborhood Center, and this is about as raucous a crowd as you will ever hear. It's sold out again today for Billy Costello. We had a chance to talk to him yesterday and asked about the effect of this crowd on his behavior. That helps me a lot. It's like the home court advantage, you know, the Lakers, they play in L.A., it gives them a big boost. Same thing does me. It gives me a great boost. Can you, 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 during the course of the fight, you can draw strength from the crowd? Sure, you, they don't, they never let you get down. You're always hyping you up. You never get the time to get down. They're always Billy, 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 so. I want to perform and perform great. There's only two people going to have gloves on. That's me and Billy Costello. The 1,500 people that he's going to have in that joint that's uh, coming to him, they can put on their gloves. He has no help from them. The challenger is in the ring, Leroy Haley. Billy Costello, 28 years of age, a native of Kingston, about to make his appearance for the third defense of the championship that he won when he knocked out Bruce Curry and Beaumont in the 10th round of that fight. Leroy Haley inactive now for the past seven months. He was scheduled to fight here 
on November the 3rd, but had to withdraw only five days before the fight with an injured hand. Salamandi took his place. That fight went the distance. And now, here he comes, Billy Costello, and we'll let the crowd speak for itself. for 12 rounds. We'll see if it goes the distance. We'll be back with the first round of this WBC Super Lightweight Championship after this message. Costello versus Haiti. Now let's go to our ring announcer, Ward Todd. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Don King Productions welcomes you to the Kingston Midtown Neighborhood Center. This is the main event. A 12-round battle for the WBC Super Lightweight Championship. Introducing the referee, Arthur Mercanti. And introducing first, the challenger. He is the former world champion, now ranked as the number one challenger. He has a record of 49 wins, four losses, two draws, weighing 139 pounds from Garland, Arkansas, Leroy Haley. Haley. And now, here is the champion. He has a record of 29 wins, no losses, 17 knockouts, weighing 138 Good afternoon, Billy and Leroy. This contest will be governed by the rules of the World Boxing Council under the aegis of the New York State Athletic Commission. You have received your rules already. I expect you to obey them and I will enforce them. Shake hands now, return to your corners to await the starting bell. Good luck. Billy Costello, 28 years of age, Leroy Haley, you see the asterisk. Uh, there's some question, Gil Clancy, about exactly how old Leroy Haley is. He told us yesterday he's in his mid-30s. Officially, the biography says 30, but I did a fight of his two years ago when he was also 30. Well, that, that can happen to some fighters. They just don't get any older. <laughs> I remember a guy by the name of Griffith. I was within 20 years. I never knew how old he was. On his official boxing license, is listed at 35. And he said he wants to fight about six more years, which would put him at 41. The champion, we know, is 28 years of age, and we're underway with round number one from Kingston, New York. Height and reach advantage, both with Billy Costello. But the experience factor is much in favor of Leroy Haley, whose legal name is Irish Leroy Haley. That is his legal name, but he has now dropped the use of the term Irish. Still has the green stripe on his trunks, though, Frank. 
This is only the eighth fight he has ever fought outside of his current hometown of Las Vegas, Nevada. But it's not been uh, harmful for him. He's six and one in bounce hill outside of Las Vegas. There's the first solid punch of the fight landed by Costello. Well, you saw the strength of Costello. He, it was almost a push, but he still moved Leroy Haley right off his feet. Costello's a very strong guy physically. Two minutes remaining, first round. That overhand right was blocked by Costello. by Costello, especially the left. Well, Haley's doing what he said he was going to do. He's taking the fight to Costello. One minute to go, first round of the scheduled 12 round. Costello, and we have 30 seconds remaining in the first round. First warning from Arthur Mercati as the first round winds down. Billy Costello won the championship for the 10th round TKO with Bruce Curry. Yeah, there goes that Haley getting low and Billy Stone punches over his head. The champions presented by Old Spice after shave and cologne. I was beating Robinson the first four rounds. I was ahead of him in this fight. I won every round and, and uh, he was starting to wilt and he just threw a desperation punch according to him. And, and it was as well timed and well placed as any punch that ever hit me. A matter of fact, it made the World Book Encyclopedia the best left hook ever threw. I made the book, happened to hit me on the chin. What a way to make it, huh? Back in Kingston, New York, with round number two of the WBC Super Lightweight Championship, Billy Costello in blue. And there is a surprise. That was a surprise. It looked to me like he was thrown down. Mercante counted it a knockdown. The referee, Arthur Mercante. And Costello did not object. Haley with an arcing left hook. He's done what he wanted, Bill, in, in presenting a very elusive and low target for Billy Costello. Yes, and what Billy Costello is doing, he's dropping his hands to punch low instead of bending his knees. Haley stands only 5'6". One tends to wonder about three-point hyperbole. Sometimes it gets out of hand, but uh, Billy Costello yesterday was rather angry when he said how much he wanted to win this fight with Leroy Haley. Well, what Costello is doing now is what a lot of punches do. He's waiting to land the big punch instead of trying to open, open Haley up with a jab, move him around a little bit. Every punch is a bomb. In that sense, then, has Haley taken him out of his game plan? At this moment, yes. Costello should just get down, settle down, and try to score points and win the fight. The big punch always comes by itself. Midway through the second round of the scheduled 12 round. Good counter punch from Haley. Uh, it's amazing how a fighter can completely forget a left jab the way Costello has so far in this fight. And it's still the best punch in boxing. Well, he has not used it in the first two rounds. And not, Billy Costello, he throws those bombs, but when he does, he's very, very stiff. If he gets nailed, he, he's going to go. 
Yeah, he leaves himself susceptible to the counterpunch then, doesn't he? Yes, he does. And he's as stiff as a board. Trying to punch a little too hard. There's a good solid overhand right from Leroy Haley. So we had the knockdown, quick though it might have been early in this round. And there's a solid right from Haley. For the moment, that rocked Costello. Yes, it did. Shook him up pretty good. Every punch for Philly is a bomb. Punching over his head again. And the counter punch from Leroy Henry landed in the ribs. There's the left hand jab and the overhand right as we near the end of round number two. Highlighted by an early knockdown of Billy Costello, the champion. I still didn't see a punch. May have been the head. But I'm surprised that Billy didn't object when the referee started to count. Costello did not object, so the count went only to three. And Billy Costello, a little weary after a rather rough second round. Watch the head. Keep down what you're doing. Walk it, walk it. We're just about set for round number three. There goes the first jab by Bill Costello. Try to double jab. Well, we're still not sure about that knockdown. It might have been Gale a butt in the chin, do you think? I, I, I just can't say, Brian. His back was to me, and I did not see a punch. Bill Costello, 28 years of age. He'll be 29 on April the 10th. Leroy Haley in his mid-30s. You know, they talk about the hometown advantage. Sometimes the home crowd can do you more harm than good because you try a little too hard. And that's what Billy Costello doing so far in this fight. Is it at all possible for a challenger to come into an arena like this and draw some strength from the ruckusness of this crowd? Well, Haley said that it wasn't going to bother him, and so far, apparently, it hasn't. Asked Leroy Haley yesterday how many fans he would have here, and he said, well, 10. There's a warning to Billy Costello. Yeah, but it was very important. He said, one of them is going to be my son, and I didn't bring him here to see me lose. What the heck? They should have had Haley scouted pretty good because he's fighting exactly the way he said he was going to fight, and this is the way Leroy fights. Bends down, moves his head, attacks it from all sorts of different angles. But they're not doing, Billy's not doing anything to set him up. Every punch, again, every punch he throws is the one that's supposed to get you out of there. I would imagine that would be Victor Valley busy in the corner between rounds with instructions. There's, there's Haley down again. And a good combination by Costello is just to the fight. One minute to go, third round. Having found some success with the overhand right, Haley tries to come back with it. The second one doesn't land. Yeah, he threw it from the balcony, Vern. Well, Haley is slugging with a slugger. That may not be such a smart thing to do either. It's really bothering Costello the fact that Haley's able to get so low. There were four straight misses, and then the short right landed on the chin of Leroy Haley as we near the final 20 seconds of round number three. That's a pretty good left. Good shot to the body by Costello. <laughs> round three coming to a close.
The Champions, presented by Old Spice Deodorant and Solid Antiperspirant. It was an accident. It happened in the gymnasium. It happened in the gymnasium. The guy threw the shot. He didn't mean to throw me, but he did. At the time, I was still fighting good because I had just knocked out a, a guy in Orlando. I think I knocked him out in the first round. But my career just ended like that. And I never, I never didn't announce my retirement. I just walked away from boxing. I said, well, it's one thing that happened to me, so I just walk away. There's an interesting spectator, Billy Costello's son. As we begin round number four. Good body shots by Haley. In Costello's corner, Victor Valley told him to double up the jab, bend down, move inside, and punch to the body. He wants Costello to get low. Haley is staying there. Haley going after that open hand right again. But uh, not terrifically effective that time. a real pro. You can see his experience in there. Costello's trying to set the punch with a left hook, and Haley just slides over to his right. Haley, I know, Bill, was, was upset at Costello because Costello referred to him as a club fighter, and he's a former champion. He hit Costello with a pretty good right hand and made Costello blink. Two minutes to go, fourth round. Second warning, Mercante says, the referee Arthur Mercante. There's the left hand jab. And again. Well, that's what Billy has to do. He just has to settle down, faint, snap the jab, then the combinations will come by themselves. Haley tries to counter with the right again, but it does not connect. Valley told Costello to bend and bang to the body, and that's sure as heck what he did. Landed a good body shot. Ah, oh, quick exchange in the middle of the ring and a counter from Costello. That was a left. Beautiful short left hook counter by Costello. Landed twice on the chin of Leroy Haley with a minute to go in round number four. The jab again, used with some effectiveness by Billy Costello. Thirty seconds to go, fourth round from Kingston, New York. The scheduled twelve-round WBC Super Lightweight Championship. Round number five from Kingston, New York. Burn left twist and Gil Clancy and Leroy Haley to challenge you quickly out of the corner. Again with the overhand right. In the corner, Victor Valley told Costello to stay inside and punch to the body. Then Mike Jones said, your jab is working good. So Victor said, yes, keep to the jab, but also work inside. Costello, the champion in the blue. Haley won this championship from Saul Monday in June of 1982 and lost it to Bruce Curry. There's the best jabs in the fight by Costello. Beautiful left jabs. You know, during the last time that Costello fought, I mentioned that his mouth was wide open, which means that a fighter's usually getting tired. About a week later, I met Billy in Penn Station. He's, why are you telling people I'm tired because my mouth is open? He's, my mouthpiece doesn't fit right. So I said, well, get a new mouthpiece. I don't think he has a new mouthpiece because his mouth is wide open again. It sure looks like it, doesn't it? He's breathing heavy through the mouth. That would seem fairly elemental. This is 
a tough fight to, to score again, uh, Brent, because Haley is landing more punches and Billy's landing the, the, the heavier punches. Well, Haley is a tough fighter to score anyway, isn't he? Yes, he, he is. is. Almost all of his fights, but the fights with Curry, the split decisions. Oh, good right hand. Right. You know, they said that Sal Malby makes a fighter not look good. I would think that Haley is in that same category. It's difficult to look stylish against him. Well, they're both veterans, both different styles. And yes, Sal Malby can make anybody look bad. He's so smart in that ring. So oh, right now, he's in two good punches by Haley. He's throwing bombs. And he, he doesn't have to pay for it. He just seems to me to be tight as a drum for some reason or another. Both fighters are, <laughs> have their trunks pulled up by Arthur McCanty. We have had only one knockdown in the fight, and it looked like Paul the push early in the third round as Costello went down. But Leroy Haley giving a good account of himself in his first fight in seven months as we near the end of the fifth round. Light up. We come to you live from Kingston, New York on this Saturday in November. Leroy Haley, the challenger against Billy Costello, the champion. Round number six. Again, in Costello's corner, Victor Valley told him, you're going to have to wake up a little bit. Then he told him to get loose, and that's the same thing that we noticed. He's very, very tight. In your mind, has Haley carried the fight so far? Yes, I think I'm right at this moment, I have Haley ahead in the fight. Haley told us yesterday he never realized quite how much the championship meant when he had it until he lost it in the two fights with Chris Curry. He's had only one fight since losing the title. That was to Chuck Peralta seven months ago, and he won that. See, Brian, how Haley's able to take liberties with Billy. Threw a big right hand and missed, and Billy didn't, didn't count it. There's a good right from Costello. Landed a couple of good shots. Hurt Haley a little bit. Jab quickly. We're nearing the midpoint of the sixth round, halfway through the scheduled 12 round. That was an off balance left hook into the ribs and didn't hurt that much. Back on Stella. That was it. But Haley, again, the aggressor. When they're trading punches, the difference is that Haley's staying low and Costello has his head up in the air. Good left hook by Costello. And yet Leroy Haley grinned at him after taking the hook right at the chin. One minute to go, sixth round. Look at these awful punches that Haley's throwing. Two quick left jabs by... Billy Costello are answered in turn by the jabs of Leroy Haley. Thirty seconds to go, round number six. Costello has to bend his knees. He's dropping his hands to throw those left hooks underneath. Standing straight up again, he got nailed again. And the combination from Haley has rocked Costello at least momentarily. We are halfway through the scheduled 12 round WBC Super Lightweight Championship bout for Kingston, New York. We're back in Kingston, New York. I have been advised in a very kind manner that I said it was a Saturday in November. That's when this fight was originally scheduled. This, of course, is the 16th of February in 1985. Leroy Haley and Billy Costello, round number seven. Big right hand by Haley. Costello came out like he really meant business, but Haley was ready for him. Look at this, Haley goes. That overhand right has been his most effective punch in the first six rounds. 
And he hits with it twice here, driving to the center. I gather that you sense a degree of frustration on Costello's part. Well, it just seems that he's just so stiff, punchy slow, very slow. Gil, is it is it difficult as a trainer to give instructions between rounds? Don't you have to do most of that in the gym before the fight? Well, it is good to have a fight plan, but things happen in a fight, and you really have to get the fighter's attention uh, when you're giving him instructions between rounds. Because and it, I could always tell if a fighter was paying attention or not. Well, do you feel that perhaps Costello is not listening to Victor Valley? Well, I don't think he hasn't done what Victor Valley has asked him to do since the opening bell. Victor has asked him to use his jab. Bend low, get inside, and work both hands to the body. Up, up to this point in the fight, Billy is standing straight as a stick. That's all Haley has to do. All he does is bend low, Billy thinks he has him trapped, and then Billy just can't find him. Most of Costello's shots have been aimed high. That one was not. But there's a good counter from Haley. Now Costello tries to measure. He's loading up, Bill. Yeah, he's not going to hit a smart guy like Haley with any load-up punch, I'll tell you that. Again, he's looking for that big punch. The big punch comes by itself. Just work is what he should be doing. Haley, he's not going to hit an experienced fighter like Haley with a punch like that. Haley simply flicked that left hook aside. This is the seventh round of a scheduled 12 round fight. All right, now that was better. Costello snapped the jab and then hooked off the jab. That's the way to set up a guy like Haley. <laughs> 25 seconds to go, round number seven. The powder right from Leroy Haley. All right, Frank, keep them up. Leroy, let's go. Go back to the powder, say, all right, keep them up. Haley is finishing every round. Very, very strongly, which could affect the judges. It's a 10-point must system. As we near the end of the seventh round of the scheduled 12 rounder from Kingston, New York. <laughs> Billy Costello is making the third defense of the title he won in Beaumont, Texas, against Bruce Curry. And it's been a tough close fight so far, Gil Clancy. Yes, it has. This is the eighth round on Berlin Chris Long with Joe Clancy. Costello decisioned Ronnie Shields July 15th of last year. Decision Sal Mumby November 3rd of last year. Prior to that, he had a string of four consecutive knockouts. And never in his career before the last two fights had he gone two fights in a row not getting a knockout. Leroy Haley has only been knocked out once in his 12-year career. That was in 1979 by Willie Rodriguez. That hurt Stanley with those body shots, though. Costello landed some bombs. <laughs> Billy's using a lot of energy, and he's not landing any of those punches. Haley is blocking those left hooks with his elbow and his arm. Let's see if the same thing happens at the end of this round, if, if Haley comes back, because he's a sly old fox. He's letting Costello throw all those punches now, and they're not landing. Almost every one of those is being blocked, aren't they? That's right. Now, the crowd, I think you can hear in the background, seems to feel that Costello has really taken a toll on him. Round eight. Scheduled for the First sight of blood from Haley now. Cut left. Left jab landed. Will help anything. A minute to go in round eight. Costello has shortened up that left hook. It's almost like a left uppercut, and it's very, very effective. That's why Haley's mouth is bleeding now. See how Haley stays lower than Costello? That's one of the things you teach a fighter in the gym. When you're inside, always try to stay lower than the other guy. 
wild punch by Haley and an equally wild punch by Costello with 30 seconds to go in round eight. There he's trying for the home run and he missed again. And that really, Gill expends a lot of energy. Yes, it does. And Haley has not made the strong finish in this round the way he has in previous rounds. In that sense, perhaps those body punches did take some toll. It has gone eight. It is scheduled for 12. We'll be back in Kingston, New York in just a moment. <laughs> Noisy crowd really popped after that fine eight-round showing by Billy Costello, who did take some of the adrenaline out of Leroy Haley's attack. As we come to you live from Kingston, New York. Yeah, as Billy Costello went back to his corner, he winked at Victor Valley and pointed to his own to his own body as if I okay, I got the message, Victor. I'm hurting him in the body. After a slow start, Costello has come on in the last three rounds. Well, you see, he shortened up that left hook. He's, he's bringing it almost up like an uppercut now. Not that one. <laughs> nope. That one came from Albany. What Haley's going to have to do now is nail, nail Billy with a couple of punches to make him respect him, because right now, Costello's walking right through him. Well, he really got the message. He's digging to that body every chance he gets. Watch the left hook. That's what he's used the last two rounds. And as you said, he really has shortened. He's still vulnerable over him because he stands straight as a stick, Costello does. There he goes, just got hit with the right hand. round of a scheduled 12 round here from the Midtown Neighborhood Center in Kingston, New York. There's that left of the body again. And Victor Valley is screaming at Costello, bend your body, bend your body. That was a fine left hook. Well, Haley is not keeping busy enough. He's not moving those hands enough right now. One minute to go, ninth round. That overhand right that had been so effective in rounds one, two, three just isn't there now for Leroy Haley. Good left hook by Costello. He's walking right through Haley right now. Overhand right lands, and now Costello really has assumed command of the fight. There's the left hook to the body again. Short right. Forced Haley back. Haley's landed some good punches himself in that exchange, though, Ben. We've had only one knockdown. Haley is now cut under the left eye. It's not a bad cut, but he's cut under the left eye. And we have now reached the end of the ninth round of the scheduled 12 rounder from Kingston. WBC version. Leroy Haley and Billy Costello, the champion. Good fancy, you've been keeping an unofficial scorecard, and I notice you've gotten Costello with the last four rounds. Yes, yeah, he's taking command of the fight. Haley's going to have to make a big rally to get back in this fight and win this championship. There are three judges scoring today, Richard Steele, Harold Letterman, and Dr. Stuart Kirschenbaum. Of course, let me qualify that, Brian. That's my opinion. Very unofficial. Exactly. Have we not all learned that you can't always tell how judges are going to score this fight? But Costello really has finally started listening to his corner. Victor Valley screaming at him during the round and the three rounds. And has had the better of it for the last 12 minutes. Got oh, nailed with two good left hooks by Haley. Sure enough. Two minutes to go in the 10th round. Leroy Haley from Garland, Arkansas although he has lived in Las Vegas since 1971. And a great left jab by Billy Costello. Well, you can see Costello has loosened up now. He's relaxed a little more, fighting a lot better.
The left hook for Costello. Gibbler set it up with the jab, run. Super Lightweight Championship. Billy Costello with a good right. That rock three wall hitter. Well, they both threw right hands at the same time. You can't get hit harder than the hell he got hit then. And he's still standing. He's got some chin. He's only been taken out of the fight once, and that was six years ago. Early in the fight, Costello tried to load up and go for the knockout punch. He wasn't there. He went to the jab and the left hook in the middle rounds, and it became effective. Costello, in our opinion. 
Arthur McKenty, only one knockdown in the fight. He came in the third round. Costello won the championship in Beaumont with the 10th round knockout of Bruce Curry. January 29th of 1984. So he's had it for just over a year. And this is his third title defense in his own time of peace. Costello is a well-schooled fighter. Every time he throws that right hand, he comes back with the left hook. And he's found it to be very effective coming back with the left hook to the body. Two minutes remaining. There comes the, oh, there's the left hook back again after the right hand. I can see it before he throws it, but it's not. victory as a professional without defeat. Bailey 49, four losses, two of them to Bruce Curry, and two draws. It was to Bruce Curry that Leroy Haney lost this championship. It was from Bruce Curry that Billy Costello won the championship. trying to kill the clock and he's the guy that needs the knockout so i guess he's resigned himself to the fact that he fought a tough fight but uh, just didn't have enough final one minute of the fight there's a good short right by costello and haley starts to hang on well it's a sellout crowd at the midtown neighborhood center in kingston down to some 30,000 located in a two-hour drive north of New York City. And as the clock winds down, their man, the local hero, appears to have successfully defended his title. They will be on their feet at the end of the round. McConaughey with a warning as we've got 10 seconds remaining in this WBC Super Lightweight Championship fight that has gone the distance. will vote the decision coming up it went the distance 12 rounds in Kingston New York Billy Costello and Leroy Haley back to the decision in just a moment we're back in the ring ready for a decision in this 12 round WBC super lightweight championship Arthur Mercati between the two fighters Billy Costello the champion and Irish Leroy Haley it went the full 12. Billy Costello said this might be his last fight in his hometown of Kingston. He does have a scheduled fight for Japan this summer and wants to fight at least once more between now and then. Now, let's go to our ring announcer, Ward Todd, for the decision on the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Dr. Stuart Kirschenbaum scores the fight 119 to 109. Richard Steele scores the fight 116 to 111. Judge Harold Letterman scores the fight 118 to 111. The winner and still WBC Super Lightweight Champion Bill Billy, Leroy, Billy, if we could for just a second. Jose Torres is here to present the bill once again. Leroy will ask you to stand by. Billy, early on, it was really a little tough. You seemed a little stiff in the first five rounds. Yeah, I was uh, I was a little tense for this fight. And uh, Leroy, was, he was very awkward. And uh, I was hitting with some good body shots. And, and I ref thought I was going low, but I wasn't going low. And plus, Leroy was awkward. He butted me a couple of times. But look, he's a tough guy. I know I had him hurt many times. I just couldn't do that with him. I could have stayed on the body. He knew the left hook was getting him. He kept blocking it, kept blocking it, kept blocking it. But I would have stayed on it more and more. I, would, I, I believe I would have definitely stopped him. But I can't take it away from him. He's a tough guy. He's very awkward. And uh, the best man won. Okay, congratulations to you, Billy, and good luck in your next title defense. Billy Costello wins it the third time he has defended the title. He's getting congratulations from Jose Torres. 
He is still the WBC Super Lightweight Champion. Now let's go back to New York. All right, thank you, Vern. You know, you just experienced that there's little that can match the energy and enthusiasm generated when a fighter has a hometown crowd behind him. And we'll have that again, that same type of thing, next uh, again, when Barry McGuigan fights in Belfast, Northern Ireland. That's just part of an outstanding lineup in the coming weeks here on CBS Sports Saturday.